Hello everyone, welcome to the IPL Fever on Zindagi TV with Starfield. My name is Karan Kohl and that's Veer Dave. Veer, what an exciting week of cricket. It's been a great start this year's IPL. We've had our first century, super over Eddie. What an amazing contest. So my team, the defending champions, Mumbai Indians, got off to a really shaky start and they pulled it back. What do you think about your team, Karan? I think ours to be started off really well. But look, it's, it's been a very, very tough week for them. I feel they've lost quite a few really good players in, the few, in these few years. Watson, Chris Gale, KL Rahul, KL Rahul's 100. You know, such an amazing 100. But I, I just feel there's a, there's a massive issue with the, the team selection. But it seems like these are only great players once they leave RCB. What do you think? That's true. Look, you know, even Stoinis this year has been uh, great for uh, Delhi, a great find for Delhi. And speaking of Delhi Capitals, guys, we got in touch with Delhi Capitals Cricket Academy head Jagit Anand. Let's see what he had to say. Uh, thank you, Karan and Vir. We're here with Jagit Anand, who is the head of the Delhi Capitals Cricket Academy. He's here to share with us a bit of an insight about the Delhi Capitals in terms of the IPL. Welcome, Jagrit, and thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much, Jess, for having me. What a great start um, in the IPL for you guys. Winning your first two games back to back. <laughs> the yes, first sir. game was a nail by Jan. Fantastic to see one of your new signings stand out during a moment of pressure and score runs for your team. Which leads me to my first question. Why is this year different for the Delhi Capitals? Well, just to start with, it's been absolutely fantastic to have won uh, you know, both our games. And especially the way we won our first game and then the following game was absolutely one-sided against one of the most difficult sides in IPL. So, I think that gives a lot of confidence to all the uh, boys, the whole management and the staff that has been working relentlessly under these unprecedented scenarios. And uh, talking about Stoinis, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's been absolutely fantastic. You know, right from the moment he walked in, um, he, he was oozing with confidence and that reflected in his game. He walked in a very difficult situation and then the way he just pulled the game away from, uh, um, you know, Kings Eleven was uh, truly a delight to watch. So, it's, it's been a really good start and I think the one thing that's different this year in DC that actually the transformation started from last year itself is the energy. I would say because we are full of youngsters, we have some Delhi boys and uh, you know, another very, very strong factor that's playing in our favour right now is the good Indian setup. Because you've seen in the past as well, you know, teams which have had a very strong Indian setup, like a set of Indian players, have eventually, you know, they've, they've gone on to win the IPL. So this year we have lots of amazing Indian players. Uh, you know, we have Rishabh Pant, who's, uh, you know, the first contender for the Indian team. Uh, for wicket keeping, you know, he's, he's been uh, doing really well. Then we have Shreyas Iyer again, you know, he's been fantastic at number four for India. Then we have uh, Prithvi Shaw coming in again, you know, he's, he's a young prodigy and we all know what he can do. So, you know, with all of these guys coming in, uh, it's, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And it's coupled with a lot of experience with uh, uh, Shikhar Dhawan there, with Ajinkya Rahane in the dressing room, with uh, Ashwin now coming in with his experience. So, I think it's a perfect mix a team can have. Awesome. I've been watching and you can definitely see the team chemistry. The team yeah. selection is spot on. And I think it boils down to effective leadership. Which leads me to my next question. What did Delhi Capitals see in Shreyas Iyer? And what impact has he had on the side? You know, I think uh, Shreyas Iyer has been, uh, you know, has, he's been a player who's transformed uh, phenomenally over the last one year. The kind of growth that he's shown as a player, uh, as, as a captain, has been extremely wonderful. And I think that's what uh, the management could also spot when they decided to have Shreyas as the captain. You know, there's no doubt about his uh, abilities as a player. But obviously, you know, choosing a captain for an IPL team is always a task because you've got the best of the best playing for a franchise. Uh, but Shreyas has, you know, done absolute justice to the role. Last year, we saw that, you know, he took the number, team to number three spot. And this year also, you know, the way we've started. And, you know, the best thing about Shreyas is, his, his calm, his, you know, how cool he is in the field. Even you saw even yeah, the Kings calm 11. And exactly. Even the Kings 11 match when he was batting under pressure, when he was a captain under pressure, he was making the right moves at the right time. And even yesterday, his moves were very, very calculated. So just that just goes on to reflect the kind of, uh, you know, confidence that guy has. So I think he's, he's the ideal person to lead us side. That's a perfect response. And we all know Shreya Aya is a young, talented player. But speaking of that, which other young talented players are you excited to see in this year's IPL? See, if I talk about uh, young players, I would put more focus on the under-19 players uh, right now because see, Shreyas, Prithvi, they've all tasted what the Indian jersey feels like, you know, the senior team jersey. So, if we talk about the youngsters who are coming up, uh, you know, Devdutt Particle is a great talent. We saw him batting for RCB in the first game and 
you know again a very very confident innings against a team like uh, Hyderabad they already won the I- IPL before and we all know you know it's, it's a great side so the kind of confidence he had in that game then uh, we have Yashasvi Jaiswal he's you know still to prove himself in IPL but i think he's absolutely fantastic he's been great in under 19 priyam garg again a wonderful player you know he's got a great technique and uh, you know another guy to watch out for is uh, ruthraj gaikwad he's been scoring a lot of runs for uh, you know maharashtra in the past he's been doing well for india a and uh, last but not the least are uh, leg spinner rishabh uh, um, sorry uh, bishnoi he's again a wonderful talent you know i mean i was amazed to see him bowl with such confidence and another thing that works for him well is that he's got anil kumble as his mentor so i think uh, you know these four five guys are to watch out for in this ipl and i'm sure uh you know uh, india will be very happy the senior indian selectors will be very happy to see them because uh, they're building an excellent uh, bench strength now with these guys coming up there's a lot of young talent here in the ipl this year yeah um speaking of development and driving young players from the entry all the way to the elite level yeah how are right. you pushing um players to the development pyramid and into the franchise team of delhi capitals See, uh, just what the one thing that's very important uh, for all the players also to understand is that just by being associated uh, with a franchise academy, they should not take it for granted that they will be taken in an IPL team. See, IPL is a very, very professional tournament. There's there's a lot of uh, energy, time, and money that is invested. Okay, and it's actually you know providing a great professional platform to all the budding cricketers. So take IPL for granted for any youngster would not be the right way. Uh, and I'm saying this because a lot of people feel that way. the right way to go and the way we work is that you know we focus on the right kind of coaching from the beginning we focus on the right kind of mindset from the beginning for uh, motivating those players for inspiring those players and yes of course if you're a part of you know a franchise academy um the, the one thing that you uh, get an edge over at the academies is that you always have eyes on you so if you're doing well you will get a chance like in the past all the boys who've been doing well in our academies who've been scoring runs in the state they've got a chance to actually come to the IPL trials where they uh, you know uh, get to showcase their talent and that opportunity which a lot of people actually crave for you know there's a lot of raw talent in india which goes unnoticed and the dc academies now our vision is that you know wherever there is talent wherever there is a good player we want to make sure that we have our eyes on them and we can reach out to them with the best kind of training facilities and ensure that you know uh, they're groomed at the right level at the right age and one more important thing jess for us is that uh, you know all around the country we've seen a trend where uh, all the academies or anyone for that matter who talks about uh, cricket or grooming talent or grassroots level they talk about players but what about the coaches it's actually a coach who makes the player so for us another great focus is that we need to develop the coaches as well we need to make them feel secure we need to educate them we need to upgrade their knowledge about the sport about the psychology of the sport and once we are able to do that i'm 100% sure that with the kind of talent we have in india Uh, we are set to produce some amazing uh, players in the near future. I love that mindset. It's absolutely amazing, and I look forward to seeing you, um, some of your young players, making it through all the way to the DC team. Right. Okay. My next question is for our viewers in Kenya: What does it take for an associate nation player to make it into the IPL? So, just uh, how I would like to differentiate this is that you know we often uh, discuss about a nation as an associate nation and then the player as an associate nation player i would like to change that mindset a little bit you know when we talk about professional cricket see um if you're talking about a franchise the ultimate aim is to win the ipl and have the best playing 11 and the best squad with them right so when we do that um the focus on the part of being an associate nation is less and the focus on how good a player is more you know if the focus is only on an associate nation no one no one would have uh, noticed rashid khan no one would have noticed uh, you know mohammad nabi no one would have uh, noticed sindhi kamichane all of these players got noticed because they were good players right so first of all that mindset needs to change even in the uh, minds of the players they need to forget about the fact that they are from an associate nation what they need to know is that they are good players and they should train accordingly they should perform accordingly and definitely one of the top franchises will have eyes on you and the beautiful aspect about ipl is you know the talent scouts that each team has are always looking out for good talent because all of them are hungry for you know success stories it's it's, it's you know it's uh, it's uh, you know if you have a virat kohli scoring a century or playing ipl or getting a 16 or 15 crore contract that's something you all expect right you expect that from virat or from shreya sayer or from rishabh pant because these guys are there in the picture but when someone like rashid khan comes now see how that changed the afghanistan cricket scenario as well one rashid khan doing oh, well in yeah. ipl 
change the mindset of every Afghanistan player that they can also make it. So this is what needs to be done, and the players need to be very confident of themselves, whether they're from an associate nation or whether they're from a top nation. Awesome, that's a perfect response. For the aspiring cricketers here in Kenya, there you have it. Focus on yes. yourself, work hard, and you can definitely make it. And one more thing, Jess, you know, Kenya has always uh, produced good talent. We've seen in the past, you know, uh, an ordinary team can't make it to the semi-finals of a World Cup. I'm sure there's been an unfortunate, uh, you know, turn of events post that. Whatever the problems were or, uh, you know, there was lack of motivation or inspiration, whatever the things might be. But I think there's a great potential in Kenya. And this is why we are very, very excited for this partnership also, uh, you know, the BC Academy partnership with Starfield because there's a lot of passion in all of you. You know, we've literally seen Starfield from the beginning when Karan started the company. We had a small meeting and uh, he told me about his plans. Mm -hmm. So, from last four years, we've seen how Starfield has grown, you know, step by step and they've been very consistent, they've been very persistent in their approach. And uh, this is something that we look out for as well. And that's one of the reasons I'm excited for this partnership because we share that same passion and uh, we are hungry. We are very, very hungry to produce some amazing talent and some really good success stories. And I, I am sure that we'll be do, uh, able to do that from Kenya. I'm so glad you brought up this partnership because that brings me to my last question. We definitely look, we're looking forward for the Delhi Capitals to come and we host you here in Nairobi for a serious training camp, a very high performance um, right. training um, situation. So, what should our local players expect from this program? So, just the one thing that they must expect from DC coming there is, uh, you know, the exposure that they're going to get. And it's it's not an exposure that we bring to them. It's something that they see in themselves. Like that, like I spoke about motivation and inspiration, um, and and that yeah. vision that they can make it. So, the first thing that we want to do when we come there is change the mindset that you know it's, it's just not an ordinary sport that you're playing. Uh, and it's not, uh, just don't keep it in mind that you, you know, you're playing for an associate nation or Kenya has no scope. I will, I, we want to first eradicate that thought from the roots altogether. We want them to believe in themselves that yes, you can make it. You know, there are examples of people who've made it. And you are the people who are going to change the face of Kenya cricket once again. So when we bring, the first change that we want to do is the change in mindset. Second, of course, you know, with the kind of uh, technologies we have, with the kind of exposure we have to cricket in India, and because obviously, uh, you know, the kind of exposure we have because of IPL and being a franchise of IPL, is that we will be able to fine-tune the players over there. And I'm sure all of you are doing a great job. Karan himself is a great player, so I'm sure whatever knowledge you're giving them, whatever skills you're training them for are outstanding. But with us coming in, we will be able to fine-tune those skills. We will be able to, uh, you know, uh, transform them from, you know, an ordinary player to a good player and from a good player to a great player and tell them what works because a lot of times what happens is that you know players feel that they're not sufficient what they're doing is not good enough but actually it's very good so we need to tell them that you know if they're good then they need to believe in that and they need to take that confidence forward when they walk in we want them to believe that they can come to india and beat one of the top sides over here so that this is something that we will definitely do once we come over there apart from of course all our training methods and the training curriculums that we will inculcate and the you know the knowledge transfer that we are going to do that's uh, of course the yeah, add-on. That's awesome. We're definitely looking forward to this partnership growing and you guys coming to Kenya and showing us and motivating the Kenyan players, especially the young ones who need that motivation. So right. Thank you, Jagreep. Thank you for your time. It's been awesome having you here. Thank you, Jess. Thank pleasure you for the insight on the Delhi Capitals. Thank you so much, Jess. It's, it's a pleasure always to talk to you guys and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. Oh, it's postponed it, but. Uh, you're just excited. Well, as excited as you. Thank you so much, Jagreed. Thank you. Thanks for that, Hirsch. So, Karin, anyways, now that we're back, what do you think about RCB's performance so far? I think they've underperformed again. I mean, look, uh, their, their selection has been a massive issue, massive question mark. I feel they can do so much better with the kind of players that they have. They have a player sitting out who, who was bought for 8 crore, you know. I feel like he should be in the team instead of Umesh Yadav. Josh Felipe should be out, Partey Patel in. I feel there's a bit of a, 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 really a lack in uh, combination. I feel they could do so much better with what the kind of players that they have. Yeah, I agree with you, Karin. But at the same time, this seems to be a really deep issue with RCB. They have the best players sometimes, one of the best players in the world in Virat Kohli. But somehow, they just don't seem to perform. Yeah, I think it's also lack of management. I mean, look, the management has been changing every single year. You know, players have been changing every single year. So it's been very difficult for them to be, you know, to have a, a combination uh, just the way other, other teams do. But look, let's see how they do this year. 
Bir, so who are those young players that you're looking out for in this IPL? Yeah, I mean the IPL was formed to get a development structure. All these young players are coming through and making it into the Indian national team. And right now there's a few exciting young players, the Shubman Gill, uh, Pitvi Shaw coming through, and some exciting spinners as well. Yeah, I think Vishnoi from Kings Eleven Punjab doing really well the under 19. He was one of the under 19 players. Dev Padikal for RCB, you know, scored a 50 in his debut match. That was great. I feel uh, RCB has probably found someone who can, uh, you know, start the innings well with uh, with Finchy. Yeah, Karan with his with his RCB as usual. <laughs> Anyways. There's some exciting young players coming through. There's a lot for us to look out for, a lot to see. Very exciting stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. It's the IPL Fever on Zindagi TV with stuff.